I was given an address and a name, like always. I arrived at his home during his absence. I then had a few hours to myself before I heard the garage door open and he arrived. My colleagues use different names when referring to what we do. I like to call it speaking. But I have found that speaking to people is no longer fulfilling unless it is preceded by a sustained period of listening. That is why I spend my free time exploring the attic and the items it holds before the target returns. But a thorough exploration cannot be conducted until the attic is presented correctly. Over the past two years, I have been sent to speak with people who, in the eyes of some, must be spoken to. I never ask who these people are or what they have done. Questions like those can only be answered in full by listening to the stories their many objects tell. These objects told stories that were unlike any of the others I have heard over these two years. This man's life was typical. He lived a social, joyous life, a life with friends. But at some point, that must have changed, or I wouldn't be here. reading this note, then you may have known this man. I believe the items he kept up here, amidst this dry heat, may provide insight on how a person's heart hardens and how his life transforms into something unrecognizable, and if this occurs in a moment or if it is a gradual decay. But this is no time for introspection. <laughs>